Hi guys, welcome to this strange look. Let me first maybe um, find out how I log out and session power off reboot. Let's do a reboot. So what is this? This is Arclix with Xenmol TT as you just saw in a flash there. It's Arclix XL. It's on ButterFS. So you type DOF and then you see ButterFS. And I selected in Calamaris everything that I can select. Next under eh, under time shift. So inside Calamaris there are some utilities and the block under time shift. I've selected that one. So I have my ButterFS assistant. I see in Grub the lines to go back and all that. So here you have all the sub volumes and this is an interesting bit. You can restore stuff. And I've been playing around on this virtual machine and that's ideal, right? That's why we have virtual machines to say, okay, let's play around, but not on my real metal thing, right? And this is a page on the ArchWiki window manager, which explains basically that there are stacking window managers, styling window managers and dynamic window managers. And the stacking window manager is just a desktop. So for us, there is a desktop and a tiling window managers. That's for us enough. And the dynamic, they call awesome DWM. They call them dynamic, but we just call them tiling window managers. So in here is a long list of desktops that you probably have never heard of. And another page is the Arch Wiki. Um, desktop managers, desktop environments, yeah. Desktop environments, let's see. Control find the desk. So I was going over some things and looking, okay, is it maintained and is it nice? And then I was playing with the desktop. So I installed this one and it's actually a little bit more complex in the sense that this one had to build, build first before I could install the desktop and that's it, All right? So that's not quite that complex. But the fun stuff of doing all this in a virtual machine with ButterFS, with Snapper, is that you can go back to the time before it was installed. So you can restore this particular snapshot and then none of it has happened to your virtual machine. The other option is um, making snapshots in VirtualBox or VMware, stuff like that. So without further ado, the video has been created to show the desktop, the desk, sorry. Okay. And normally we see some kind of cactus, but I've been making already a video and doing it again because I didn't like the video. So here it is, second try. We have here this uh, bar and it becomes a bit smaller if you go out of it. A little, I don't know what it is. You be my guest, you judge what it is. And, but it gives us the menu and the menu does not depend entirely on the user share applications dot desktop files because there is no games and there is no science but the menu is there so if there were then it would be working this is the status center or that one the same thing so clicking here and it's um, quite complete actually but in previous video and maybe we'll see one here as well we had a few crashes in last video so just to be fair i'm not recommending it i'm just showing you right so here we have network system settings this is really is eh, quite complete the feeling is oh my god they did a good work I played around with fonts already in the previous video. Intensity, theme, chose for dark, light, dark. So the font, I don't know what it was initially, but something up here before Noto Sun somewhere. Let's do Counter L. Okay, a bit bigger maybe. And so on. So this is quite fun. This is quite fun. You can actually change lots of things. Uh, 
and it will change your look. Okay. Transparency effects, yes, no. Input, all kinds of things. The, the line, the text sometimes disappears, but uh, I suppose that's due to the fonts and the size. Locale, users, we can actually create a user. Which many desktops can't. Default applications, normally there are eh, XFC or so. There are like, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine choices. So, all kind of plugins they have. We can recovery, reset the desk if something goes wrong. Log out, reset the desk. And then about. A website to go to, file bug. So this is it. At this point in time, no crashes, which is good. Have not figured out yet what this is, the blue thing. So it becomes blue when I click on it, but I'm not sure if I have a different desktop or something, I don't know. I found my Alacrity, so we can't type anything in here. Ah, there he is. We got a crash, oh bonkers. So that's the text we get then, oh bonkers. <laughs> but I see now I have to type up here. And that might be the thing, right? Um, sure, do we have an up-to-date system? No, we don't, and I don't care. But here it is. We're on the DE, the desktop, and they use KWIN, so from Plasma. Um, so, oh yeah, what I can show you as well is the fact that, let's go to here, sublime text, and there we go. That we have here a quarter, a quarter, half, half, and I do like desktops that provide you that, well, tiling winner manager feeling basically, but it's one drag and click away and then it's tiled. So that's for me always a plus. Flight mode, power stretch, redshift, all kinds of things you need to discover what it does. But there you go, and then at least we have a video about the desk, if anybody wants to try, be my guest. What I can add, might be a good idea, because I'm not going to keep this. What I'm going to do is here, and then utilities, or maybe just type butterfs. I'm going to go back to before the desk. And that's also always interesting, right? If um, you're on a virtual machines, you can do reinstall stuff. But I can also go and say, all I did, go back to the beginning and I'll install another Tiling Winner Manager or another desktop and play with it. So please reboot immediately. And the desktop will be gone. Rebooting was here and then reboot. Let's see if the desk is gone. So the Xenmod TT is a new kernel you can test. And if you try type XD, there is just XFC, there's no the desk anymore. And that's the fun, right? I can start over again with something else. Alright, cheers.